playing retro games has never been so easy nor so sensitive. While emulation has been pushed further underground, classic collections and HD remasters roll in on a regular basis. In addition to digital re-releases and packaged collections, wholly dedicated devices for replaying retro titles in authentic, albeit HDMI upscaled, perfection have come to market. One of the more curious retro gaming platforms to spring up is Anstream Arcade, a game streaming service dedicated to both arcade and console titles of the 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s, Antstream stands out not only because of its format, but because of its library. The games on Antstream are anything but the usual re-release suspects, and that above all else is what makes it so appealing. Antstream offers access to a phenomenal library spanning a multitude of platforms, genres, and ages. The SNK and Tato selections alone should entice any arcade enthusiast, and there's plenty more from the likes of Treasure and Jalico's vaults to keep you hooked. I've spent equally as much time marveling at the collection of console games, to say the likes of Amiga and Spectrum or rarities growing up would be a vast understatement. Finally having affordable and legal access to across the pond hits like Nebulous and Cadaver is really cool. In terms of familiar faces, Anstream carries a selection of Mega Drive titles. You won't find Sonic, Golden Axe, or Altered Beast here. Rather, Anstream brings a number of third-party titles you'd never see on mainstay classic collections, but are every bit as valuable as anything Sega produced for their own machine. Speedball 2, The Immortal, and Exile, games like these are too often left behind when discussing the console's legacy, and I'm both surprised and pleased to see them included. All this goes a long way in showing the staff's knowledge and dedication to this era of gaming. <laughs> The elephant, or rather ant, in the room is of course why stream old games. It's a good question and one that likely stalls many from engaging with Anstream. Streaming a console or PC release to your phone, Mac, or potato PC is justifiable. Low spec hardware or incompatible OS's running many game. Continuously pulling in data for a game which is probably a megabyte or two at most on the other hand seems excessive. In its defense, having streamed games for several years through both GeForce Now and PlayStation Now, I can say Anstream has easily been the smoothest and most reliable game service I've tried. I've used the app on a Windows 10 PC with a wired connection and on an Nvidia Shield tablet with a wireless connection and both have worked near flawlessly. There is some stuttering with the client and UI, but once in game things run without issue. There could be a few reasons for this, like the fact Anstream isn't aiming to hit HD levels like Stadia or GeForce Now. Whatever the reason, I'm impressed by how well it all works. There is the occasional tear, blur, and floating artifact one would expect of a streaming service, but the fact that I can reliably play fighting games, yes fighting games, on a streaming platform is something I can't say of any other platform I've tried. Anstream also makes use of its online functionality via hosting community challenges and leaderboards. These are a great way to become acquainted with new games or show off your skills and old favorites. Games are organized by genre, most of them fitting roughly where they should. The app also keeps track of recently played games, and you can even make a list of favorites for quick access. One of the app's cooler features is how it shows what consoles a game is available on should you want to try out the different ports. It's a single button press at the bottom of a game's menu, letting you swap between consoles with screenshots for comparison. Each game also comes with a hint sheet and diagram of remapped controls to get you right into the action. Many of these games come from an era where objectives were... cryptic. Anstream does a pretty good job of giving players the rundown, though you may still need to hunt down a walkthrough or scan of the original booklet for more info. Controls map flawlessly to game badge, touch screens, and even keyboard should the game support them. Most games also allow for three custom save states. The only nitpick I have with this is the fact you can't quickly load a game. You have to first exit the session entirely and then connect again using the save state. Couch co-op works well, though an online play option seems to be missing as of this video. Emulation is spot on, however, this does mean the issues which plagued these machines back in the day have come along for the nostalgia trip. On several occasions I had games fail to reload my game, getting stuck on the console's boot screen. It's not a deal breaker, but it does remind you to keep up with your custom save states when exiting a game, just in case things get muddled. 
even with my rose tinted glasses, it's easy to argue Anstream's value over other game streaming services and classic collections alike. I would like to see them push a little further ahead, maybe getting into some circa Model 2 era 3D games, but even as it stands, Anstream has pulled together a great selection. Those looking for a legal way to delve deep into gaming history should definitely check it out.